Earlier in the season, the Zips men's soccer team faced off against the Wright State Raiders, and man, what a high-scoring game this was for the Zips. We get right to the action here with a goal by Akron's number 19, Dyson Clapier, at 15 minutes in. The next goal scored for Akron was at 32 minutes in, scored by number 8, Ryan Kingsford, assisted by number 11, Will Jackson. Then, not too long after, the Zips score another goal, this time by number 16, Juan Kuzri Juan Kamal, assisted by number 9, Jason Shakaluk, and number 10, Renato Kazlar. A free kick from corner by Juan Kuzri Juan Kamal with a header by number 18, Ivan Nikolic, gives the Zips their fourth goal tonight just before halftime. Lots of support for the soccer team by the AK Rowdies and the student section happily cheering the Zips on. The Raiders attempt the goal at 42 minutes in, but is saved by Akron's Will Meyer. That will be one of the last plays of the first half. Akron leads strong with four goals and Wright State having zero. At the start of the second half, the Zips start off strong yet again with another goal. This time by number 10, Renato Cazar, assisted by number 19, Dyson Clapier, and number 15, Johnny Fitzgerald. At 59 minutes in, the Raiders score their first and only goal of the night. But the Zips answer back with yet another goal, this time by number 8 Ryan Kingsford, assisted by Dyson Clapier. And to finish things off was Zips number 7 Diego Bacheco, with the 7th and final goal for the team, assisted by Johnny Fitzgerald. The final score of the game, the Wright State Raiders 1, your Akron Zips 7. Lots of goals for a team that game. The next game we are going to cover is the game against the Yale Bulldogs on September 25th. The Bulldogs record is at 3-3 and the Akron Zips stand at 5-2-1, coming back from a loss at West Virginia. We kick things off with a shot by Akron number 9, Jason Shakalu, but is saved by Yale's goalie, Elian Haddock. But is also saved by goalie Elian Haddock. Number 8 Ryan Kingsford attempted two shots for Akron, however, both were saved by, yet again, Yale goalie Elian Haddock. He was a huge problem for the Zips that night. Will Meyer, goalie for Akron, helping the Zips out there. There was a shot by Akron number 7 Diego Pacheco, but is blocked. And now we'll end the first half of the game with both teams scoring no goals. Definitely some great defense from both teams. Kicking things off in the second half is a shot by Yale, but is saved by goalie Will Meyer. However, Jules Oberg of Yale shoots not once, but twice for a goal. Both times are blocked. Another shot by Akron blocked by Yale goalie Elian Haddock. There's a free kick by Yale, but is caught by Will Meyer. At 65 minutes into the game, Akron finally scored their first goal of the night. It was made by number 7, Diogo Pacheco, assisted by number 15, Johnny Fitzgerald. A shot from middle of 18, he finds corner and makes it. That was his third goal of the season so far. The Bulldogs attempt a shot here, but is blocked yet again by Akron. The Zips keep their defenses up and make it to the end of the game, with the final score being the Yale Bulldogs 0, your Akron Zips 1. Akron took more shots for the game, however, Yale had more saves, with 7 saves total. This is Andrew, signing off.